and welcome to another online business realm video. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and click the subscribe button to stay up to date with everything we're doing here at the channel. So for today's video for Tech Tuesday, we're going to be showing you guys how to use the Authy app. That's A-U-T-H-Y. So to set this up, I'm going to set this up on my Facebook page. So I'm going to come here and go to settings. So I'm going to go to security and login. And I'm going to come out down here to use two-factor authentication. I'm going to click edit. And we are going to do this. We're going to set up. Hit set up. Are you sure you want to set up two-factor authentication? For the next seven days, do not require a second factor to turn off two-factor authentication. We're going to click enable. And we're going to put our password in. Okay, so now we have to use a code or security key. Okay, so I'm going to come here to Code Generator, and I'm going to hit Set Up Third Party App. Now, I'm not, I don't really care too much about doing this here for Facebook, but I'm just setting all this up to show you how to use the app. So, two-factor authentication is basically something that is going to make any account you have more secure. It's going to be working with something that is a time-sensitive code that resets usually every 30 seconds, so it's almost impossible for anyone to hack into your account. So here we are. We are in the spot where all I need to do is scan this code. So what I'm going to be doing now is switching over to my mobile phone and showing you exactly how to use this app. Okay, so now I've got my phone pulled up. All I need to do is open my Authy app. So... It's a red logo with kind of a, almost like a paperclip looking symbol. So let's click on our app. Okay, now all we got to do is we have to add Facebook. So we come down here and we will hit add account. So now all we got to do is click scan QR code. Okay, and now we are going to scan the code here. Okay. All right, and then it automatically is going to zoom in and capture it, and you don't even have to click anything. So at that point, just hit done, and now we have our token to log in. So now, anytime we go to Facebook and log out, and we have to log back in, and we have the two-factor authentication enabled, we're going to put in this six-digit code. Now watch the timer, and notice it changes every 30 seconds. So every time you go to log in, you have 30 seconds to put this code in or it's going to change. So you guys could try to go to my Facebook page and log in if you had the password with this authentication code. And it's not going to be good because it's only going to last for 30 seconds. So the Authy app is extremely easy to use. Google Authenticator is another two-factor authentication app that a lot of people use. The long and the short of it is I could go into a lot of reasons why, but I like Authy better than Google Authenticator. And if you go to a site and it says, hey, you must use Google Authenticator, that's not true. You can, anywhere that you can use Google Authenticator for two-factor authentication, you can also use Authy for. Even if it doesn't specifically say it, that's kind of the way that a third-party two-factor authentication wor uh, app works. Is It just scans the code, logs it in, and then it hooks up to your account, and it automatically knows what you're trying to log into. So uh, it doesn't really matter which one of those you use, but like I said, I think Authy is the much better app. I hope that this was able to show you a little bit about how to use it. As you can see on just different ones that I have here, I have it for Coinbase, BitGo, TaxAct, Binance, uh, I, CoinEgg is another one I use it on, and now I've added Facebook. So there's tons of websites out there. You can go ahead and expect this is pretty much going to be the norm from here on out is people learn how to combat hackers more and more and more. Two-factor authentication is almost foolproof. Uh, it, it's something that really can't be hacked. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you got something out of it. Don't forget to click subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at the channel. And until next time, get out there and make some money.